Right, these are the instructions for building a compressed air rocket. Uh, first thing you want to do, what we're going to be doing is building the compressed air rocket around this tube. Depending on what sort of paper and thickness of the paper you've got, you could use the whole sheet, or in some cases, to make it lighter, I've actually taken this sheet and I've actually reduced this down. So that's going to be about 15 centimetres wide. That will wrap around the tube twice. That's a slightly thicker card. I'm going to use the whole sheet for this. Uh, it's a thinner card, and quite simply, all you need to do is wrap it round the tube. Okay, simple as that. You want it so it's a snug fit, tight but not too tight that it drags. And then quite simply, you sellotape it down the edge, like so. This is going to be under a lot of pressure, so you need to make sure that it is uh, fairly uh, tightly sellotaped, securely sellotaped, uh, because it will blow up on the launch pad. Once we've got that, obviously we've got an open tube, we need to seal one end. And the easiest way of doing that is just to pull the tube back a short distance and then fold it in with your thumb. Okay, so we do it like so. Okay, fold it in. And again, sellotape the end down securely. So it's as gas tight as you can make it. Next thing we need to do is we need to make uh, a nose cone, so it's aerodynamic. And the easiest way of doing that is to take a piece of card and to draw a circle on it. I've done that. Now, the size of the circle will depend, will change the shape of the cone, so you can make it large or smaller. The easiest thing I've found is to take a roll of, big roll of sellotape and to draw it as a circle. Once you've done that, you need to cut it out. This is one that I've cut out earlier, as in Blue Peter. And then we want to form that into a cone shape. To do that, you can cut into the middle, like so. And it's easier to take a piece out, a cheese wedge out, okay, like so. You can then wrap it round. Now, by taking out larger or smaller cheese wedges, you can change the shape. So if you take out a, a bigger cheese wedge, you can get a much tighter cone shape. Okay, so you can decide what sort of shape that you like. It's going to go from there. So I've got it like so, and then again, we can sellotape it down. It's fixed into place. We can trim off any excess. Like so. Okay, we then need to attach that onto the end of the rocket. So I'll put it on there. This is the fiddly bit where you probably want more than uh, one pair of hands. Okay, so just do this quickly. Again, you want to try and make that as secure as possible. Doesn't matter how cosmetically it looks, but then we've got like so. Okay, so we've got a basic rocket shape. Now you could decide to keep this as your uh, rocket now, but Quite often, for stability, we want to put some fins on the end. So let's take a look how we do that. An excess piece of card, I've got a strip that's there, and you can choose any sort of fin shape that you think is appropriate. I'm just going to guess this. So I'm going to cut it down in perhaps a classic sort of fin shape, and then cut it off square, like so. Okay. Now, we're going to want four of those uh, as an identical shape, so I'm going to use that, I'm going to use that as a template. I say four, you may, to use th uh, may choose to use three. So, we don't need to be too accurate, but uh, we do want to try and get them fairly similar. It's going to go from there, so I'm just using that as a template. You could choose to draw around it if you so choose. And I'm just going to produce four of those. Okay, so we've got our four shapes, if I just take those out for now. And if I take a look at this shape, what I've done is put a little notch square shape here. And the reason for that is we need to attach it to the rocket in some way. So I've put that. And if we fold it over, we have we can form a tab by which we can actually attach it to the rocket. Now, previous experience tells us actually what is quite a good way of doing this. But again, you can choose. If you cut that into half, if you fold one tab one way and then one the other, and then we've got a tab that will then quite nicely attached to the base of our rocket. And what we then need to do is we need to attach those to our rocket with either glue or sellotape or a mixture of both. It needs to be fairly secure and we will have our completed rocket.
This is now the completed article. I've actually put on the four rockets. I can take those tubes out and we can look. Now, I've just stuck those on with Pritt stick. So they're a bit flimsy, they might come off in flight. So they're worth reinforcing with sellotape down each of those. And there we have our completed rocket. Now one thing to think about is actually how well is it going to fly and we know that it's all to do with the centre of gravity. If I balance that on my finger you'll see the centre of gravity is a little near the end. If we can move the centre of gravity closer to the top of the rocket it'll fly better. So the secret of good flight is that you need to move the centre of gravity. So I'm going to let you work out how to actually do that. And there's your completed rocket and then we're going to go off and fire them.